And sometimes it's really easy to forget that these children have travelled across the entire globe, flee persecution or flee war or flee poverty. And I suppose that's the kind of the challenge of it is that you're, you're a teacher who are teaching children who right now bear the physical and mental scars of what they've come through. Yeah, even I get lost here, it's uh, quite hard to work yourself around. So the, the idea of like giving children a place for them to be children in this squalid place is, um, I think, a primary focus of the Refugee Youth Centre. We noticed that there was a lack of schooling for young people in the camp. We developed a timetable just to give them a structure so they know that every day at half two they have somewhere they can be. And it gives them a sense of familiarity and structure that's just completely lacking in a refugee camp. And someone like Hassan coming over, it's great to get like, you know, people with fresh ideas coming from universities or, you know, who have that wide range of experience and they can come in and just inject something really fresh into what, what we're doing here. I suppose that I wanted to use my skills and the skills that my course has provided me to, um, to make a positive impact. So there we are. That is the Mentos and Coke experiment. Sometimes you may not go through a class where you feel that your learning outcomes have been met, but what you do know is that you've made a child smile. You do know that you've made a child be in a safe space for that hour. I believe that I should be doing anything I can to help these children believe in themselves and have hope so they can actually go on and be the best person they can possibly be.